Hey, Kevin here, top one financial advisor and best-selling author, and we are here to talk about the stock market. I am in a hotel in New York, so I don't have my normal video set up and stuff, but we are consistent, right? And that's what I preach, what I teach, and what I'm trying to do by doing this video, even without all the normal circumstances. But today is, at least right now, I'm recording this around noon, well, actually, closer to 1230 and the market ain't looking so good. And when this stuff tends to happen, I like to help calm you and get you through moments like this. So the question I have for you is, do you remember May 12th, 2021? Where were you? What did you do? How did your investments do? Do you even remember or care about May 12th? You probably don't. That is because that today, right now, um, as of where the market is, this is the worst day since May 12th, which don't mean a damn thing for you right now because you survived it. The market recovered a bit and it's going to dip and it's going to recover and it's going to dip. That is, that's the normal cycle of things. In fact, over the last six months, the S&P 500 is still up 13%. I'll remind you that the average in any given year or, or when you average out the years, it's about 7%. So we are still doing quite well this year. Today, it's down. It's not great. This is one of the biggest days since May 12th. But again, you don't remember May 12th. And neither do I. I don't remember where I was. Could have been in Tulsa promoting the book. This was, what, six days before the book was, was out. So I was probably doing that. But... I don't remember what happened on that day. I don't remember what video was posted on that day. I knew that I was going to follow my plan. And come this Friday, I'm going to invest regardless of what the market does. And this is one of those opportunities for you to do the same. Because as the market dip, it dips and you're doing your DCA, whether it's Friday or Monday or right now, or tomorrow, or whenever, this is how you take advantage of those drops. And as the market recovers, which we know it does in time, I'm not here to tell you that it's going to be tomorrow or next month. I don't know when, but we know all the way back, really, you want to go to the early 1900s or even 1800s, we know it does come back. It just takes a little time. We also know that September and sometimes October too tends to be a little, yeah, not all that great, but that's fine because we talked about it, we expect it, and we stick with our plan. So if you got a quality company and a good stock, why change it, right? That's that's the the key argument here is if, for example, if it's Google, if it's a, a four, which is not doing well for me right now, as with a lot of stocks today, but is it something, is it something really wrong with your company or is just the market just not feeling it today? It, it might not be you, right? It might not be your company. It could just be, hey, you know, the market's acting a little weird. I'm just hold on and hopefully this thing just blows over pretty quickly. For me, I hope it blows over by December, but if it doesn't, then it's fine. We sit down, we reevaluate, and we we change the landscape. You should be in this for a long term, and that is how you survive this investing game for decades. Because that's the thing: a lot of people get in, try and do this for like a month, six months, a day, and then hop out, and then hooray, I'm rich, and never have to do this again. That's not how, how it works for the majority of people. And if you plan on being successful, you need a consistent process. That consistent process keeps you super calm and really nonchalant in times like this because I, ha I have the plan. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here and mind my own business. I'm going to sit here and invest on Friday. I'm going to keep doing that. And then come last week of December, I'll open up my portfolio and see what needs to stay, what needs to go, and what changes we need to make. And that's it. What happened today doesn't bother me. The only reason I knew it is because I got an alert from CNBC that the market was even down. I'm like, oh, that looks pretty bad. Let me go get on Twitter. Let me get on public. Let me find out what people are concerned about and how can I help you guys today? So that's a part of it. Stay calm. Stick with your process. You don't remember May 12th, four or five, six months from now. You're probably not going to remember this day either. You are going to be fine if you stick it out for the long term. Also, and I mentioned this in a previous video, you do may want to consider some of those consumer discretionary stocks. These are stocks that I dropped a lotion cap. Um, these are stocks that people, when they've got money, they tend to spend in these areas. So I talked about Dick Sporting Goods. That's up 20% over the last month, I think. And that's, you know, we're talking 13% for the entire market for the last six months. Dick Sporting Goods did more than that in one month alone. I think from the time we did the last video, they were up 88% over the last six months and 100 and. 
37% over the last year from the time of that recording, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but there's, there's one. Target is not doing as good as I wanted it to, um, but, but Target is out there. Anything that, um, Estee Lauder is another one, Ulta is another one. These are stocks that we've covered, so feel free to go back and watch those videos. I'm just here, just helping y'all relax, waiting on this flight. Y'all are going to be okay if you over the long term, if you had quality companies to begin with. Now, if you bought a company that wasn't quality and we don't know about it and we didn't, you know, do your research, that's a different story. Okay, that's a different story. But for those that did the research and followed their research process, we got a video on that, then you should be fine. This is just, it's a weird time. It's just a weird time. And this happens not every year, but it happens often around this this point in, in the investing calendar, if you will. So that's it for me. Like, subscribe, share this video. I just want to be your, your moment of zen today and just help y'all out. Y'all going to be fine because, again, you don't remember May 12th. All right, that's it for me. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.